welcome to video number four five of this series on Cognos project development uh, from scratch by Bharti DW Consultancy Services. In this video, we are going to talk about the database design, understanding of data, and how to put your first step towards creating a project in Cognos. So, please refer my video number four, which is defining the project Cognos requirements. This is video number five. In this, we are going to talk about the database. The database we are going to use for this video would be the sales database new video. Here, in this database, we have the following tables. Feel free to email me on bhartidwconsultancy at gmail.com. For the database, I will email it to you for free. This database consists of seven tables. You have customer type category, decal, decust, dprod, dsale type, dstat, and F sales. As the name suggests, F sales is your fact for the sales. D stat is your status dimension. D sale type is your sale type dimension. D prod is your product dimension. D cust is your customer dimension. Decal is your calendar dimension and customer type category is a snowflake schema table. We'll talk about this table later. So the star schema falls for starts from F underscore sales and these are the dimension tables surrounding the star schema. These tables can be arranged in a star schema fashion. So the middle table, a table for dimension table surrounding the fact table. The middle table is the fact, F underscore sales. D cust dimension table would, would be joined to F sales. D prod, D sale type, decal and dstat and then we will create joints between these tables and then this star schema is going to be extended for the customer type category The customer type category will not be connected to the sales table directly but it will be connected to the customer dimension table which will then form a snowflake schema. So this is what we are going to do in this project in which we are going to implement the entire project understanding the data is the first step. So whenever you go for a project look for the database architecture this kind of diagram which is known as sometimes ER diagram or logical data model, physical data model. Look for these diagrams to understand the concept of any project, the data structure. The data in any project for data warehousing or BI is the most important thing. Coming back to the data, the customer, so let's start with CAL. DCAL is the table which consists of year, quarter, quarter name, month and month name fields. This is basically a calendar. Dcast is the customer name, customer table having customer ID, customer code, name, city, country, type. This customer type is then connected to the customer type category which is bronze, gold or silver. <laughs> 
product product dimension consists of product id product code name type and product category sale type means dom or int dom is domestic international d stat is status a is active i is inactive and finally you have f sales which is the fact sales you can see that it consists of the customer id product id date sale date proc sale type order stat id and sales stat id we are going to see in the framework manager how do we create aliases and we'll work through it to the examples in the videos to come as I said, feel free to email me on Bharti DW Consultancy for getting access to this database. This is a access database, MS Access, MDB file, and you can easily follow me on the other videos. Thank you.